All right, so welcome to Sunday. It is a absolutely stunning day here in Byron Bay. Like this is my favorite time of year. There's no doubt that autumn is a very special time. Typically there's great waves and I managed to get out for a surf this morning with one of my friends, Mateus, super fun. Didn't get that many waves, which was less fun, but I had an amazing experience of paddling behind a wave and as the wave came, it dumped, a section dumped all at once and the spray went up. And because we're on the East Coast, the sun shone through the spray and I got this expanding rainbow. Like it was there for maybe a second. And I was like, oh, oh yeah. Irrespective of what happened from there, it didn't really matter. Like that was such a, an ex amazing experience that I was like, oh yeah, now I know why people want to move here. I've been here like 10, more than 10 years and best thing ever was to buy a house in the area. Moving beyond that particular moment, that special moment, I had some bad news. Some, it's not bad news, it's just a, a notification. Hey, my assistant came through who takes care of the production of taking these Facebook Lives through to the podcast, through to the quote cards. Right now, not the YouTube because YouTube doesn't let you have access to YouTube as a business until you've either paid them $100 or it's been 60 days. So I haven't met the requirements yet. And nonetheless, he, he takes each of these Facebook Lives and converts them. And we have systems for this. It's funny enough, it's a systems business. It'd be like, gee, kind of negligent if I was just duct taping this thing together. But what I had was an experience of going back and getting to review a system that I set up about, I don't know, maybe it was two weeks ago. I was like, hang on, you know, the daily going through of taking the video and doing all this stuff. We could batch this. We could make this more effective if I batched this. And so the idea became, well, let's extract it on a Sunday and then overnight it'll do its magic. And in Monday morning, there will be all of these things set up. Now, a lot of it's manual at the moment just because I don't trust or it's not possible to do some of the automations with software. So what I would love is if I could just, in fact, what would be amazing is if it took this Facebook Live and the software knew that it could then take that to Dropbox and Dropbox takes it to Otter to do the automatic transcription and then it moves both the video and the transcription into Drive, which then triggers the addition of both the tracking item in Monday and the creation of a board. Now there are all the things that happen if the automations were possible, but as far as I'm concerned right now, I want it manual, I want it safe. I want it to know that I am going through or Jim's going through and making sure that we have this dialed in before going to any additional automation. One of the things about automation is that it's awesome, but you need to know what you're doing. If you're setting up an automation that is for a system that's not tight, that's not well refined, then that's not so good. And that was very much my experience of going in. I was like, why, why is the extraction video got a post to blog in it? Because that was a remnant from when it was done as a single system on a daily system where every day the Facebook Live's coming out, then it makes sense that it just gets posted. But when it's done at the end of the week and then it takes another week to actually produce and make sure that they're all done, now there's a lag. Now it has to be scheduled. Now there must be a known date in there. And so the addition into the template that I made was here's the dates for publication. Here's when the blog post goes out. Here's where the YouTube video goes out. Here's where the quote cards go out. Here's where the Instagram posts go out. And with that, suddenly from that date of production, it's actually two to three weeks later that the materials from today's Facebook will show up. But what's interesting is that I'm seeing the effects. If you go and look at today's Facebook post, then you'll see there's a bunch of quote cards that have started to appear. It's like, oh wow, look at this, look at this. But what was really cool 
was me to go in and recover very quickly because we had our systems on point. Jim's sick, can't do the work. I sent him a message to say, hey mate, are the boards up to date? That wasn't, my question was not, have you done the work? Have you done anything? I'm like interested in, are the boards up to date? Because that means I can come in and just go, great, he's working on the quote cards. I click in, I can see that the asset called quote cards has not been done. And I was like, okay, great, this is where I begin. So the quote cards got done, and then the next step from that is to deploy everything. And so I got to run these systems myself, make a few little tweaks and improvements as I went along. And that is the sign of a good system. You know that your systems are working when your team and yourself can actually use them. Like if you think that a system is something that sits in a bookcase, and it's there for when someone gets onboarded or it's there for when there's a problem. That is not a system. That is a document. That is a, a, a dead thing that can be used in cases of emergency, but really it is not a living system. That means that it will decay. That means that it will get worse with time. But if you set up your systems right, then as you use them, they actually get better. The work that I did in improving this system will mean that every iteration, every duplication of that system going on will benefit from that half an hour, one hour work. And instead of having to take two minutes, three minutes to work out, hey, where do we, where does the, when does the Facebook post go out? When does the podcast go out? When does the YouTube video go out? When does the Instagram post go out? It's all documented there in the data card for production. It's like, oh wow, great. Two weeks later, the YouTube goes out. 20, what will it be? 14 plus four, 18 days later, the Instagram posts go out. 21 days later, the podcast goes out. And that is all scheduled. That's all done by the end of the week. And suddenly the system that runs my marketing or what's all right, not my marketing, my advertising is on point. I know it's working. It's generating an outcome that I want. And the work that I did yesterday by going through and improving it benefits all of the times forward that it gets used. If this is something that you can see the benefits on, if you're like, you know what? Wow, we are, we are duct taping. We are starting to see holes in the way that our systems and our processes are run and that your business may well actually be a victim of its own success, like success at a certain level brings problems that are not a problem when you're not that successful. Typically, it's around the $1 million in revenue per year or a growth through five, six, seven team members and suddenly communications start to break down, things get missed. What was thought of as being done may not be done. There's a loss of improvements. If someone leaves the business, there's no carrying on of their benefits that they brought. All sorts of issues arise that are not a problem if you're not at that stage. Like if you're just at a early stage of business or you're just thinking about a business and you're like, you know what? You don't need this. You can duct tape this stuff together. Make sure you get enough reps in enough information back to say, hey, yeah, this is a legitimate business. But for those of you who are watching who are at that stage and you could look around and know that you are not coping if you are continually putting fires out. If you are the entrepreneur continually putting fires out, you have a systems problem, full stop. Like it's like, oh my God, I'm dealing with this. I'm dealing with this. I'm dealing with it. Oh, well, get to the end of the day. You did none of your stuff. You certainly didn't work on the business. The fires got put out. Yes, but guess what? They're going to come back tomorrow. Just like one of those birthday candles, those joke birthday candles. I don't know if you know the ones, like you blow it out and it starts up again. You blow it out and it starts up again. You blow it out and it starts up again. Guess what? That is a stage of a business that has grown enough and been successful enough to actually hit these problems. So if you recognize that and you want more help around this, if you'd like to go, okay, what do I do here? then head over to systemio.dev, pop in your name, pop in your email and get the training there. I got to run. My daughter's arrived. Look forward to seeing you on the next podcast, Facebook Live. Catch you then.